Okay, so in this video, we're going to be writing a function in Python that will allow us to determine whether or not two strings that we're given are anagrams of each other. So an anagram, if you're not familiar, is a word or a phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all of the original letters exactly once. So I've pointed to the des description of an anagram the Wikipedia definition of this in the description below if you want more information on anagrams. And I have here two variables, S1 and S2, that are anagrams of each other. So S1, the term fairy tales, this can be rearranged, the letters in this can be rearranged such that they form the phrase rail safety. So I'm not adding or deleting anything from the first S1 over here, I'm just rearranging them such that they form S2. So if this can be done, S1 is an anagram of S2 and vice versa. So what we want to do is we want to write a function in Python that will allow us to determine whether or not two strings are anagrams of each other. And we're going to be looking at two different ways of solving this problem. One of them is going to be easy to write. In other words, it's going to be very concise to write. The other one's going to be a little bit more verbose, but it's going to be slightly more efficient. So let's go through kind of the approach of how we're going to solve this problem. So both ways in which we're going to solve this problem involves normalizing the strings that we're given. That is, we want to remove any uppercase letters and normalize them to lowercase. So we want to normalize all of the letters in these two strings to lowercase. We want to also remove any spaces that are present. So we're, we're going to be assuming that the strings that we're given consist only of alphabetic characters or spaces. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove those spaces. And if they do contain uppercase letters, we're going to convert this lowercase so we can easily compare. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert S1 and S2, we're going to normalize them. So we're going to say S1 is equal to S1.replace. So we'll replace any spaces that are present in the string S1 with just no spaces at all. So it'll just smush all of the characters together into one big string. And then we're also going to convert all of the characters in the string S1 to lowercase. So these Two examples here don't have any uppercase characters, but if they did, they would be converted to lowercase. So we want to also do the same normalization procedure for the string S2. So we're going to remove all of the spaces in S2, and we're going to convert all of the alphabetic characters to lowercase. And then what we can do is we can very quickly check whether or not they're anagrams of each other by doing the following thing. We can ask whether or not we can print out whether or not sorted of S1 is equal to sorted of S2. So basically what we're doing here is we're sorting the characters in S1, we're sorting the characters in S2, and we're asking whether or not those two things are equal to each other or printing out the result. So the, the result will be either true or false. So this is an easy way to determine whether or not the two strings are anagrams of each other. It's concise, but of course any comparison based sorting approach is going to take at least n log n time. So this, I'm going to write a comment up here. Uh, this requires requires n log n time since any comparison based sorting algorithm requires at least n log n time to sort. So we can do a little bit better than this. So I'm just going to comment this out, but I'm going to leave this here in case you want to um, see a very concise solution to this problem. What we're going to do instead is we're going to do something similar. Similar in the sense that we are going to still pre-process these strings. We're going to remove any of the spaces and also normalize the cases. But what we're going to do is we're going to make use of a dictionary or a hash table. So we're going to keep track of the letters that we've encountered once we've pre-processed these strings. And we're going to make sure that if we've encountered, let's say, an F in string one, that there's also an F in string two. So that kind of cancels out. Likewise, if we see an A in S1, there should also be another A in S2. If there's an I in S1, there should also be an I in S2 and so on. So if we can essentially create a histogram, hash table, dictionary, however you want to think of it, if we can create a data structure such that we can keep track of the occurrences of such things, then once we go through that data structure, once we've kept track of both of the occurrences of the characters in both of the strings, we should get occurrences of zero across the board because if we see an occurrence of F in string one, we should also have an occurrence of F in string two and that will cancel out. If these weren't anagrams of each other, then we wouldn't have this cancellation property. So let's actually go and code this up and hopefully it'll become a little bit more clear as we code it up.
So we'll write a function called isAnagram, and it'll take two strings, S1 and S2. And what we're going to do is we're going to define our dictionary or hash table. We'll call it HT. This will just be set equal to a dictionary object. And then one very quick thing that we can do to immediately disqualify anything from being an anagram of each other is if the length of S1 and S2 are not equal. So once we've gone ahead and pre-processed both of S1 and S2 in this way, if the length of these things are not equal, we know they can't be anagrams because again, remember an anagram is only an anagram if we can rearrange the characters present in one string into another. It doesn't entail removing or uh, putting in any new characters and into any of the strings. So for instance, if I was to put in, let's say, string x here, even if we didn't know what this string was, this extra character was, we know that these two can't be possibly anagrams of each other because this extra character that I've inserted in S1 is one more than, than, than is present in S2. So there's no way that we can rearrange the characters of S1 now in terms of S2 because we have this extra X that is hanging around here that doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to remove that and we're going to put in that check here. So we're going to check if the length of S1 is not equal to the length of S2. So if these are not equal to each other, we'll just outright return false because there's no way we can make those anagrams of each other. So otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through, we're going to loop through the um, characters in each of these strings, and we're going to keep track as to what as to what characters we've encountered in each of the strings. So for instance, what we'll do here is we'll say for i and s1. So we're going to loop through the first string, and if i is present in the hash table then what we're going to do is we're going to say ht, so ht is the name of the hash table, of i plus equal 1. So if you've already seen an occurrence of the character that we're going over in the string s1, we're going to increment the count of, s, of that position in the dictionary by 1. Otherwise, if this is the first time we've actually seen this character, what we're going to do is we're just going to initialize that count to 1. So we're going to say h of t equal to 1. So this is the first time that we've encountered, for instance, if we go through S1, we see F for the first time, because it's the first thing that we're iterating over. So this else statement will be triggered, and we say HT of, uh, not, not 1, but HT of I, so HT of F in that case, will be equal to 1. If we were to see another one, what would happen is we would, we would hit this if statement here instead of the else, and we would increment that by 1, because the amount of times that we've seen F has been more than one. We only see F one time here, so that's only going to ever hit this else statement. So we're gonna do a similar thing for the other string too. So we're gonna say for I and S2, once we've exited out of the first loop there, if I, and I forgot to put in in here, so if, let's see, so I forgot to put in in here. So if I is in HT, so again, if I is in, ht here, what we're going to do is we're going to say ht of i, instead of adding one to this, what we're going to do is we're going to minus one, we're going to subtract one from this position. So this will keep track of whether or not we've seen it in s2. And again, we want to kind of counterbalance. If we've seen an f in s1, when we see an f in s2, what we want to do is we want to subtract that occurrence count in s2 because we want to kind of remove that from our dictionary structure. So we're going to cancel that out. And again, if once we loop through the dictionary structure, if we see zeros across the board, we know that we have an anagram because we've encountered an equal amount of characters from one string and to another. So we're going to decrement the count here. Otherwise, again, the same thing that we would have done in S1, we're going to, if we've, this is the first time we've seen the character, we're going to say HT of I is equal to one. And then once we've populated and depopulated possibly the dictionary structure for HT, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through that dictionary structure and we're going to check whether or not any of the entries in that dictionary are zero. So if any of them are not equal to zero, that is, if we haven't encountered an equal amount of characters in one string and another, we're going to return false because that is going to indicate that we have not, we don't have an anagram between S1 and S2. So we're going to loop through, we're going to say for I and HT, if ht of i is not equal to zero, so if the key in there is not equal to zero, we're just going to return false because we've encountered something that is not an anagram. 
Otherwise, we're going to keep iterating through, and if we are able to get through that entire loop without getting this if statement hit here, we're going to return false, or return true, rather. We're going to return true. So that will indicate that we indeed do have two strings that are anagrams of each other, S1 and S2, and then we'll, uh, that will be the end of the function. So we'll go ahead and print the output of S1 and S2 that we know to be anagrams in this case, and we'll see if this actually returns true as expected. So let's go ahead and print is anagram of S1 and S2, and let's see what we get. So I'll say Python is anagram, and then we see false. And I think the reason for that is because I missed uh, I, I did a equals minus instead of a minus equals. So that was my fault. There was a syntax error on my part. Let me go ahead and write this and try it again. So we see true, which is the correct answer for these two strings here, S1 and S2. So let's just go ahead and try adding X into this first string. So this uh, particular string here, if we compare S1 and S2, this if statement should be hit. and We should hit this return false. Let's go ahead and verify that's the case. So do we see false for that case? Let me get rid of that X and let, let me just replace one of these characters with a character that's not present in S2. So for instance, let me replace this, this L with an X. So fairy taxes shouldn't be an anagram of rail safety. Let's go ahead and verify that that's not an anagram. And indeed, again, we see false here. So that pretty much does it for this video for anagrams. If you have any questions or anything else, please let me know. The code, as always, will be hosted on my GitHub page, and the link for that will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.